Black Wall Street in Tulsa. Street art reminds people of a once thriving black neighborhood and an historic trauma. Some people would argue that the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre was a deliberate attempt to either obliterate or eviscerate the, the black community. Decades after slavery was abolished, black businesses in Greenwood were burned and looted by a white mob. At least 300 people were killed. And only recently, a few memorials to the violent past. We live with that trauma in part because we have chosen deliberately to ignore it, to pretend like it didn't exist. Juneteenth is a celebration. But it also reminds citizens of that wound, making it a particularly bad time and place for Donald Trump to relaunch his campaign across town tomorrow. The historic Vernon AME Church, burned in 1921, was rebuilt. Its current pastor furious with Trump's plan. When the president announced he was coming, uh, that really um, was baffling on one hand and disgusting on the other. I mean, it just shows a blatant disregard for what people want and, and, and um, does what he wants to do. Greenwood is now part of urban renewal. Some still call it black removal. But in one way, Trump's visit has raised its profile. The attention of uh, Juneteenth, uh, Black Wall Street, uh, all of that into one, uh, it, the attention is coming. To, to, to this community uh, uh, in all aspects. So that's a positive thing uh, um, that will help amplify what's going on in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And the mural yeah. has become a backdrop for racial conversation, what its designer had always hoped. They'll get the photo, they'll take the selfie. While they're here, they're becoming a little bit more educated on the race massacre. Reverend Al Sharpton, keeping the momentum going here tonight. The message, demonstrations and protests have caught the world's attention, but there will be little change if people don't vote. And across town, Republicans are lined up, fired up to relaunch Donald Trump's re-election campaign, even over objections of health experts worried about COVID spread. So tomorrow night, tens of thousands will crowd into an indoor hall with the president intent on carrying on. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, Tulsa, Oklahoma.